Just got Mal's bike in here. It's uh, it's race day. Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. I mentioned it yesterday, but Mal is doing um, her first bicycle race today, which is really, really cool. She's been working hard and training and there was a race that's happening today and she wanted to compete. So it's actually, there's two races happening today. There is a foot race and a bicycle race happening at around the same time. Chaz and Brandon are uh, participating in the foot race and Mal's participating in the cycling race. So this is a big deal for her because, uh, you know, it was the end of last year that she just started uh, cycling and she's really, really loved it. And uh, she's kept up with it and done a really good job. Brandon. Huh? That needs to go in the back. Oh, I put this up. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to go, but I figure if we head in this direction, we'll eventually see uh, somebody we know. Someone. Maybe. Our blind up for over here. Is that a bouncy castle? Yeah, this is the line for the bathroom. Oh my God. Yeah, it's not, that's bad. <laughs> so we were over there, I filmed all the stuff over there, but as it turns out, that is for the runners and the cyclists are over here, like way, way, way up there. So if I want to see Mouse start the cycling race, I have to go all the way up here, <laughs> which is fine. Guess what, we're just walking it for free. <laughs> we didn't have to pay a cent. <laughs> hey, good luck. Thank we, you. We have to go to the exit now. Okay. Okay. See you there. Yeah. This poor guy. Yeah. I feel. I feel bad. Yeah. Anyway, we're um. So the the cyclists start there, but everyone ends down here. But I apparently had to come up here because Mal needed me to take her bag and I did not know that. So this now we get, office. we gotta walk back now. Okay. He'll get it. He's one of those guys that's like become one with the truck. <laughs> It's like an old growth tree that's like fused into the cab. Well, oh. super long beard. And... He didn't go very fast, but I'm assuming that's because there's a worry that there could be a person or a cyclist behind him, so it's reasonable. Unofficial 1547. That's fast. That's nuts. That's very fast. Here's to the 1827 in second place. Under 16 minutes for a 5K, unofficial time. Team Rodeo, if you need help, ask for it. Woo! Yes! 28, and our third female finisher, 1467. Unfortunately, I have no way to track where Brandon is, so I don't think I'm going to be able to catch Brandon crossing the finish line. But he's somewhere. He's right there. Oh! On the left side, up against the wall, they have a big tank of ice cold towels for you. Wow. Well, speak of the devil. I see her in the distance. She's coming. I have no idea what the time is because the time's not listed on the side, but there's Mal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd be happy to announce right now that Mr. Wolf, mascot from Lindsay State University, is here at five forty with us. Thank you for this. Mr. Wolf will be mingling in the crowd, so make sure you give him a warm welcome. There she goes. Nice. Nice, Mal. Good work. Mal. Yes. You did it. I did it. Chaz, you also did it. I did it. Brandon also did it. Brandon I don't know where Brandon is. He's somewhere. It was a personal record. 
Well, you said that you don't do 10Ks ever. I do. I Well, it was a personal record for a 10K. I just don't, I normally stop and take a break halfway through. So this stop. is your first 10K. Yeah, I average 17.8 miles an hour, which is a lot for me. Normally I'm about like 13. Yeah. So that was really good. Yeah, you did good, Mal. Thank you. You did really good. Jazz, you were like right at 20 minutes. Uh, a little more than that. Uh, not much. Not, not, not much, much more. It was personal best. Brandon did a personal best by like four minutes. So yeah, good day for everyone considering the heat and humidity. Yeah. Yeah, it is hot. It is very very hot, and you had to run on uh, <laughs> on a road. Uh, Ta-da! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we um we're having a this is like a little celebratory dinner. Uh, for for the the races. Uh, Brandon is somewhere else, but everyone else is here, and Dan joined us too. So we're just getting some some Mexican food. People on campus can go on campus. And I got uh, alambre. It's just a mix of good things that's going to go into a tortilla. Y'all both got enchiladas. I think Alex got alambre too. And then everyone else is too far away. <laughs> I got fajitas. Um, Haley got a raw fish kind of ceviche. Agua chile. Oh. I got some special menu. Oh, we ended off tonight by returning to something that we have not played in quite a while, and that is GTA Online. <laughs> It has been a bit. We didn't have a particular idea or plan. It's just been a long time, maybe a year or even two since we've played it. Um, and it was fun to just get back into it. Although we had a very long session and then at the end of it, we were kind of reminded of like one of the difficulties with making content for GT Online is that you do have to kind of have a, a good solid plan of what you're trying to do ahead of time. Um, and uh, it was fun to just play around. And I, I, I'm i sure we have an episode's worth of stuff in there, but you do have to do like pretty long recording sessions in order to get enough material to produce that sort of thing. It's a lot easier if you just have particular like jobs in the game, um, missions or races or whatever. But uh, we were just goofing around. So it'll probably take a while to cut that, but... It seems like there will be a GTA episode coming your way in the near future. Today was good. I'm really proud uh, of Mal. Proud of Chaz and Brandon, too, but really, really proud of Mal. And um, I'm glad that she was able to uh, participate and do as well as she did. So I'm sure this won't be the last race she does. Thanks for watching. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?